I'm going to jump through a few titles here. The Money Movers, and again, Bruce Beresford. Odd Angry Shot, which I, I fondly remember. Graham Kennedy doing his thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, again, a war film. Uh, let's go to my brilliant career, though, working with Gillian Armstrong. What was that like? It was pretty amazing. Once again, um, uh, I, it was another lash at, 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 at doing something with beautiful people. Um, I... Um, it was, and it was, it was wonderful working with uh, a woman and, and with, with that particular woman. Now here we have, you're, you're getting reasonably experienced now as a cinematographer and a first time director mm. and a woman director. Yeah. How, was, how did that relationship work out? Um, I mean, to this day, I, I still do exactly the same thing. It's, um, you must never, ever get in front you must always be behind. Um, you've got to push very hard from behind sometimes. <laughs> uh, but it, it, you've got to realise it's, it's the director's film. If the film is going to be any good, it's got to be that, the perception, the, the story that's in the director's head. And all through my career, it's the process of trying to get into that director's head and understand what they're doing and then help them to achieve it, mm. and never get in the, never get to the point where you actually start to interfere with their creative process. You've just got to add to it. Now you've had the good fortune of working with some of the best directors in the world. No names, but has there been a director where you haven't really agreed with their choices, and you really had to push that hard? In actual fact, no, uh, because fundamentally, to go back to that point I make, mm. it's the director's choice. So you look separate. I that mean, the, the point is, if if I if I disagreed to a point, I mean, I might disagree on particular points, but if I disagreed on a point, I think we would have uh, split company at the interview, you know, early up in the in the mm. meetings. Um, I mean, I've, I've had some battles with them, and uh, you know, very productive. You know, it been, and you, uh, and you say what you think, and um, when when you believe things aren't going like they should, but um, no, it's uh, it's the director's movie. They're you're just, you're yeah. you're a, you've you've got to be a very very productive servant. Voice your opinion, but if they know what they want to do, yep, yep. that's what you that's what you do. Um, Breaker Morant, we're back with Bruce again. Back with again, Bruce. one of the classic Australian films for that period, a breakthrough film, 1980. Yeah. Um, again, it's a, it, and that story is still unresolved. There's still goings on about yeah, yeah. exactly what happened then. Yeah. What was it like working on that? Again, a difficult location shoot, I imagine. Fa fa fant yeah, fantastic. We, I, uh, I'd been on a few years earlier that. Uh, I was freelancing and I did a documentary for, for all people at World Council of Churches in Tanzania about uh, making uh, chicken in incubators, <laughs> <laughs> amongst other things. Uh, in between but, all of this, you're doing that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and um, anyway, I'd, 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 I'd seen a bit of Africa. And, um, and then I, I, I shot uh, the money movers down in... Uh, South Australia, and mm. I drove back through the north of South Australia, and uh, I, the country immediately it struck me as the nearest thing to the topography of the uh, Africa, the South Africa, the part of the southern Which Africa. Which is like where it's located. Where, yeah. where, 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 where the the country rolls, mm. uh, uh, the horizon appears to be twice as far away as it does in Australia, just because of the nature of the, the way the hills were rolled. And um, anyway, um, when that came up, I mentioned this to Bruce, and uh, we both went and looked at the location and, and agreed straight away that that was a fantastic place to do it. So Bur Borough, was the, Borough was the centre town that we uh, worked in, and uh, it, 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 you know, apparently people in South Africa argue about which place in South Africa it was actually shot. So was Bruce considering going to South Africa at first? No, never. That uh, no financial yeah. wouldn't, wouldn't allow that. 
but look, if, if South Africans believe it, then it must be looking well, very yeah. close. <laughs> you know, Jack Thompson, mm. um, Louis Fitzgerald, who I know yeah. in yeah. one of his first film roles, yeah. you know, so... And you anyway, Jack, as a matter of interest, uh, Jack worked yes. in that documentary that I'd shot that Bruce saw that first gave me the uh, film. He was a drug dealer in this <laughs> 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 way back there when he was quite a young man. Yeah. So what's your experience been like working with, um, let, let me talk about Australian actors versus American actors, because we'll get to your American career soon. Is there a different sensibility with the way they work that you, you found? Probably not. Probably not. I mean, I've, I've had, uh, I mean, one of my first experiences was having uh, Bill Holden over here, I think, the Earthling. The Earthling. Yeah. And, you know, he, he, he fitted in, uh, yeah, the, the, I, th I think filmmaking is probably the most universal craft in the world. You can pick up a movie crew in Istanbul or Italy or anywhere. And if they're an A movie crew, they all know what they've got to do. They all know their function. They're, it's it's pretty amazing how how uh, universal the whole and that continues on to the 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 acting. Right. You know, you know, it, it's um it's a yeah you know, it's an international business. Well, some people do draw a distinction between the way Australian crews work and American crews work, and how here we tend to muck in. Everyone will help out. And if you know, it might be beyond their designated role, but they'll help out with the crew. And Americans are much more focused on their specific oh, look, roles. Don't, don't, I mean, you, you've not found that really. No, what, but they're, they're all getting very confused. If you're working on a small American film, everyone's in doing mm. it. You know, it's just the same here. If you're working on a big film here, everyone, you can't muck in. Your job is a full-time job. If you start doing somebody else's job, it probably means you're not doing your job. Mm. Um, no, I mean it, it's it, it's there's so many myths uh, about our uh, about Australia. I wish we had less. So you found there's no great difference between the crews in any country. No, no, either. no, 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 no. I mean, so I've had great crews in Italy. Um, first time I went to England, I had the worst crew I've ever had. I went back um, reluctantly, and I had. Of absolute first world-class crew. That was after Margaret Thatcher. 